but we start with breaking news this afternoon. And the Education Secretary is coming under fire after mistaking the England rugby player Mar Mario Atoche for the England footballer Marcus Rashford. Gavin Williamson told the Evening Standard newspaper that he had met Mr Rashford online. But the Minister's aides later told the newspaper that he had, in fact, been speaking to Mr Itoje. Uh, well, let's go live to Westminster and our chief political correspondent, John Craig, who's been following this story. Uh, and, John, this is awkward for so many reasons. Lots of reasons, yes. I mean, the beleaguered uh, Mr Williamson, the Education Secretary, is top of every MP's uh, uh, list uh, uh, for uh, the chop in uh, a reshuffle whenever it comes. Uh, but this blunder certainly hasn't helped him. So what has happened here is that Mr Williamson, the Education Secretary, under fire over school closures, exam fiascos and so on, has mixed up it appears two top campaigning sports stars, the footballer Marcus Rashford and the England uh, rug and British Lions uh, rugby star uh, Maro Itoji, uh, tipped as a future England rugby captain. That's Marcus Rashford, the Manchester United star. That's uh, Maro Itoji, uh, who was uh, with, the Lion with the Lions in South Africa recently. As you there he is in his Lions shirt. So Mr Williams said he'd met Mr Rashford on a Zoom call. Um, he said that he seemed seemed incredibly engaged, compassionate and charming. Then he had to shoot off. Well, uh, later, um, uh, Mr Williamson's uh, aides revealed he actually met not Mr Rashford, but Maro Etoji. Uh, he has campaigned to bridge the digital divide in education, whereas uh, uh, Marcus Rashford, of course, is school meals, food banks and so on. Uh, Mr uh, Rashford uh, responded in a rather amusing way, retweeting uh, a journalist's tweet uh, and, uh, and saying this. He said, accent could have been a giveaway. There it is. There is the journalist Tom Newton Dunn's uh, tweet. For, for He is a uh, Times radio journalist, also writes for the Evening Standard. Accent could have been a giveaway. Now, all this... Uh, in a week when there has been talk of a cabinet reshuffle, possibly tomorrow, talk of either demotion or the sack for Mr Williamson, in Prime Minister's questions an hour or so ago, the Prime Minister defended the hapless, beleaguered, embattled, all those adjectives, uh, Mr uh, Williamson. Uh, he was asked by the Labour education spokesman, Peter Kyle, if he could put his hand on his heart and promise that uh, Mr Williamson was the right person for the job and is up to the job. Well, Boris Johnson said uh, the Education Secretary has done a heroic job, note the past tense, uh, of dealing with a very difficult circumstance in which we've had to close schools during the pandemic. So the vote of confidence uh, for Mr Rashford from the Prime Minister. Uh, but this is embarrassing uh, for Mr Williamson. He's either been badly briefed or made a blunder himself. Mixed up two top stars, very high-profile stars, a top rugby player, top footballer, Marcus Rashford, plays for Manchester United and England, currently injured, however... And uh, Mr Williamson uh, has uh, rather, uh, unfortunately for him, got terribly mixed up. Um, Marcus uh, Rashford's uh, spokesman has uh, said that uh, uh, Mr Rashford has written two letters to Gavin Williamson. First on the September the 1st last year. He got a response after five or six weeks. It was a cold response, he claimed. Uh, a copy and paste of a Wikipedia page of relief efforts the Conservative Party have put in place since coming into power from Gavin Williamson. He wrote another letter on the 29th of July, um, talked about a healthy st start scheme. And uh, Marcus says, consistent asking those in power uh, collaborate for collaboration. More often than not, his ask is rebuffed, his spokesman says. Uh, Marrow and Marcus are two incredibly successful young black men. This is Marcus Rashford's spokesman. There's little more they have in common, whether it's Daniel Rashford. Now, that is a reference to a blunder by uh, Matt Hancock, who got his name wrong when he was uh, health secretary, or a Maro Itoji reference. The message remained the same, put our children first. So... Um, what should we say? Sportsman uh, won uh, Gavin Williamson nil, perhaps?